you will drown in eternal night. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and to another Mortal Kombat mobile character review. This time we are taking a closer look at Thunder God Raiden. We will go through all of his specials, basic attacks, his x-ray, his passive and everything else he brings to the table. Thunder God Raiden is part of the Elder God class and his passive is called Storm God. When Raiden tags in, lightning strikes the opponents, removing 20% of their current health. Thunder God Raiden started his career in MK Mobile already during the MKX Mobile days and was one of the very first challenge characters ever. He was maxed out with level 50 and fusion 7 and all the way up to now his passive stayed exactly the same. Back in the old store he was available for 285,000 coins and back then and even now he's part of the challenge pack but there are of course several other packs where you can obtain him as well as well as a drop potentially at the end of the season in faction wars. Since update 2.0 he is available in the new store for 450 souls and after the level cap was raised with update 1.18 he is now maxed out with level 60 and fusion X. Raiden's gear piece is the storm hat and it gives you 45% toughness boost. 20% X-Ray slash Fatal Blow attack damage boost, which is for Raiden characters only, and 20% power generation boost. In terms of his feats of strength, he will have to win 200 matches in challenge mode to unlock his rune. For his victory stances, he has to win 750 matches in faction wars. For his taunts, he has to win 500 matches in battle mode. For his icons, he has to knock out 500 Shinnok enemies. For his backgrounds, he has to perform 250 X-Ray slash Fatal Blow attacks. And for his titles, he has to perform 3000 Combo Enders. And now we are going to take a look at the victory stances one by one and we're starting with Malice. The next one is then of course Gun Show. His third victory stance is MK1 victory. And exclusive for Thunder God Raiden only, Electrifying Entrance. And on your victory screen it will look like this. Now I'm going to show you all of his backgrounds. Next up we have the icons. And finally the titles. The 
Thunder God Raiden has a tag in attack, which already was stated in the passive, where the lightning just crashes down and deals a little bit of damage to the opponent. He has two different kinds of combo enders. The first one is consisted of one hit, one kick and then pushing the opponent back with some lightning, leaving him on his feet and making it ideal for follow up attacks. The second one starts with a punish, two kicks and then leads into an electrifying blow, knocking the opponent off his feet and down to the ground. His special one is called Electric Fly and it has only a damage effect tied to it, so there is no buff or debuff to the special one. Noteworthy is merely that he can knock out his opponent with the Electric Fly. His special too is called Heavenly Hands and it has a Power Drain effect tied to it. Unfortunately this attack is not unblockable, so you have to make sure that the opponent is either not blocking or use a block breaker to get the most out of this attack. By the way, this attack is also capable of knocking out your opponent and be careful, if you are too far from the opponent this attack will whiff. His X-Ray is called Storm God and is identical with all the Raiden characters except for MK11 Raiden who has a fatal blow. But as all Raiden characters, the special 3 so to speak, has the power generation effect tied to it, which means that you can power up a lot faster when using any kinds of attacks afterwards. As I already showed you in the segment Tag in Attack, there is mainly just that Tag in Attack with the Lightning Blow, so here is nothing more extra that I could show you about this passive, but here's some more footage in case you like the visuals. So now it's already time to recommend some gear and my first choice would go to the T800 Endoskeleton, reducing power costs of Special 2 by 50% and also adding a little bit health to Thunder God Raiden, who actually needs that a little bit since he is really not one of the strongest gold cards we have in the game. My second choice would go to Moloch's Ball and Chain where you have the opportunity for a block breaker on special attack and also the chance to get special 2 attacks for free. On top you also have the chance to deal lethal blows. Choice number 3 goes to the rusty chainsaw for the chance of a block breaker on basic attacks and also reducing power costs of special 2 by 50%. The power cost reduction would of course not be necessary if you use the T800 endoskeleton, but in case you are choosing something like the bloody voodoo doll for example, this one would be your better choice. Choice number 4 goes to the vial of infinite blood, especially if you are playing him with the devastator or the Rathhammer, any kind of weapon that is not a block breaker, this way you can add the block breaker via the accessory slot and also have the chance to apply bleed on combo enders. But the winner in my book is Raiden's gear piece itself, the Storm Hat. It will give you a power generation boost and also a boost in toughness, which can be quite interesting for Raiden since he's, as already mentioned, not the strongest character. So the tougher he is, the better for Raiden to survive. When it comes to one of my favorite gear combinations for Raiden, then I would go with the revolvers for the block breaker on basic attacks and also critical hit chance, then of course the storm hat as already mentioned, and last but not least to make him a little more long lasting, the T800 endoskeleton.
In terms of character recommendation, my first choice would go to Elder God Kenshi, who will not only give you a critical hit chance boost, but with him Elder God characters will also ignore critical attacks. My second choice would be Warlock Quan Shi, who can reanimate you after dying and bring you back with 25% health. Vengeful Shinnok may not directly give some benefits to Thunder God Raiden, but I found it a very interesting combination and a lot of fun to play if you are tagging between those two. Just try that combination out, because sometimes it really works wonders, depending on the kind of team you face. Choice number 4 goes to Injustice 2 Raiden, who can assist you with some stun after you perform special attacks. And the winner in my book in this case is Classic Goro, who will add 20% attack boost to every teammate. In other words, just having Classic Goro in the team will kind of give Raiden an invisible wrath hammer. And of course, if you're feeling cocky, you still can give Raiden the wrath hammer on top, so you would technically have two wrath hammers on one character. Minus the extra bar of power, of course. Thunder God Raiden is quite okay as a gold character, but unfortunately he's already so old that most of the other cards are outperforming him in terms of attack damage and health. But one of the things that always really angered me is the fact that since update 2.0 he is available for 450 souls after he was basically just like a throwaway character for some gold coins, pretty much like Cutthroat Kano back in the day. And then now seeing the price tag with 450 souls, it is absolutely not justified. This character, as fun as he might be, especially for beginners, is definitely not worth the price that he is up for in the store. So never, never buy a copy of Thunder God Raiden, unless you don't have any Raiden characters and maybe need one for challenges or something like that. But then just one copy and no further, because as I already said, it is absolutely not worth the invested souls and sooner or later he will drop for you anyway be it in faction wars or if you are opening uh, like diamond packs or something where basically you rarely get a diamond and always get challenge cards instead thunder god raiden will show up quite a lot But yeah, then let's get to the pros and cons, and my first pro would be the tag in attack. Granted, it is just 20% of the opponent's health, but every little bit can help, especially at the beginning of the match, when the opponent has a full health bar, 20% of that makes quite a difference at the beginning. My second pro, and that is always quite useful, is the power drain on special 2. As I already said, unfortunately the special 2 attack is not unblockable, but even if blocked you would still have the power drain effect. And that can save you from a devastating special attack from your opponent every now and then. So it's absolutely fine. My third and final pro would be his fast basic attacks. Like pretty much every Raiden character, he also has this extreme speed within his basic attacks. He might be a little bit interruptible at the beginning of his string and he also needs a while to get into that, but once he got going you will barely be able to interrupt that string at all, because one hit follows the other one so fast that it's simply a joy. The low damage output is definitely one of my first points that I have to bring up in the con section here. Unfortunately, as already said, this character is quite old and the damage was pretty much designed to fight against the characters that were up at that time. And we are speaking at the very beginning of MKX Mobile. So we are speaking about a time where not even diamonds were a thing in the game at all. 
and back in the day he was absolutely serviceable, but nowadays against all these strong characters, including newer challenge cards, he simply has problems competing. Then my second con, and that's quite big one, is that there is no effect on his special one attack, the electric fly just dealing a little bit of damage, that is really not enough as I already said in terms of competing with other cards nowadays. And of course you could add the devastator and get like 50% extra damage boost on his special one attack. But that doesn't come from Raiden himself, so he would need that assistance via gear. And then my third con, and that is that whiffing part of his special 2, or to be precise, parts of the special 2 can whiff. For example, if you are using the combo ender that pushes the opponent away and then use the special 2 right away, then you will have that whiffing effect and will basically deal no damage during the second half of that special attack and that is very counterproductive and doesn't shine the greatest light on the Elder God. That all being said, now it's time for a final rating and I will give Thunder God Raiden only a 5 out of 10. We really have to look at all the challenge cards here and Thunder God Raiden is indeed one of the weakest of them all. But yeah, that was the review for Thunder God Raiden and I hope that you enjoyed this video. There is still not much going on in the game, just in case you have missed it. The Shirai Ryu Tower event has been extended to September the 21st, so keep that in your schedule. So I would just say see you on the next video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in once again. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. In case you didn't like the video, hit the dislike button twice just to make sure. And if you want to support the channel a little further, please consider joining the Patreon family of KC Mobile Gaming. You can already do that with as little as just one dollar a month. And also follow me on social media like Twitter and Facebook, you will find all the necessary information in the description below of every video. If you want to see more content, then why don't you just click on one of those two videos here. Thank you for your support, have a good one, Casey over and out for today.